My name is Sunny Lawrence, and my husband is James Lawrence, the Iron Cowboy. When I first met James, he wanted to be a professional golfer. So I married him knowing that he was a dreamer and knowing that he would never live a conventional life. We've been accused of being a power couple, and I think that's a great compliment because we, together we're stronger. People say opposites attract, and for us it's very, very true. I am so intense, and James is so chill. I always like to say that he has his hands full of helium balloons and he's floating up into the sky and I'm grabbing him, bringing him back down to earth. And together we make the perfect partnership. Tell me what happened first and then what kind of perspective that brought to your marriage. When the recession hit, we had a lot of backup plans. We had a ton of money in savings. It's hard to believe that you go from no debt and $80,000 in the bank to bankruptcy. We started this journey homeless with $7 in our pocket. We didn't know where our next meal was gonna come from. We didn't know if we could turn the heat on. We, we were heating our home with literally a lump of coal. We were living off $1,000 a month, family of seven living off $1,000 a month. I think drive changes all the time in your life, depending on your status or where you are. You have to have a reason, you have to have a why, and hopefully your why is big enough to keep driving towards your goal. By now, we were trying to restart our life, and I know that his why was to create a new life for his family. When I did the world record in 2010 for the most half Ironmans in a, in a year, man, that was tough. And then once I finished it, looked back on it, I went, man, I think I can do the world record for Ironmans. I finished that and I looked back and I went, what's the hardest thing I can think of? We're in the car driving and James says to me, I have an idea. He's like, I'm gonna do 50 Ironmans through 50 states in 50 days. And I was like, have you no respect? I have barely survived this year. When I first brought the idea of the 50 to Sunny, she was like, we're not doing that. We had five young kids, ages 12 and under, and Sunny was just finishing up her degree. The deeper that we got down the planning road and, and the closer we got to it, her and I both got that feeling, this is, we don't know how big, but this is going to be a big thing and this is what we're supposed to be doing. I made him promise that I would do nothing and that I would just vacation with the kids. And then the dream began. An Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, followed by a standard 26.2 mile marathon run. And the 50 was 50 full iron distance triathlons in 50 consecutive days, one in every US state. I went into the 50 with 300% confidence. Mentally, I was at the top of my game. Physically, I was as fit as I could be. And still, man, I had no clue what I was getting myself into. Theoretically, the plan for me and the kids was to travel with James in this motor home and then to do something adventurous every single day. It was really important to me to make sure that we made this the best summer of the kids' lives so that they didn't resent the project. And that was the plan. And uh, things quickly went sideways. Nobody knows what they're doing. Everything's chaos. The fight from Alaska to Washington, maybe two hours of sleep. Again, kids crying, trying to get comfortable. Like, this is no joke. I drive all night from Portland to Santa Cruz, California, 10 hours. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to entertain the kids all day, and I've slept maybe six hours in the last four days. And I'm like, this is not what I agreed to do. Middle of the night, we're driving to the next state. The car falls off the trailer. I have to get up, fix the car, help drive. That's how this started. This is the reality. Sunny now became everything. She had to be the mother. She had to be the project manager. She had to learn logistics. She had to start working with the charity. She had to start working with routes. She had to start nutrition. Sonny stepped into 10 different roles when the game plan was one role. I had to be in charge of food for everybody, the entire crew. I had to be in charge of all the laundry. I was responsible to communicate with ambassadors. I was responsible to know James's route. I was responsible to make sure the kids had the best break ever. I was responsible to make sure the RV was prepped. I definitely felt defeated. I mean, even on day 48, 49, those were as hard for me as day one and day two. The best way to sum it up is that it took me about two years to recover emotionally and physically from the 50. 
that wasn't the plan, that wasn't the design, that's not how we drew it up. And so I'd say the hardest thing for me was watching her suffer in a different way that I was suffering. And I just felt so bad, there was nothing I could do. But I also know how strong she is, and I knew that it, it was going to be hard, but that she was more than capable. There was no doubt that she would take the reins and ultimately be the reason why we were successful. I think every person goes through their life and gets to a point where they're like, I can't do this anymore. I can't tell you how many nights I prayed in my closet crying, saying, God, I can't do this anymore. People hate resistance and people hate things that are hard. What better way to grow as a person? What better way to find your potential than by doing the things that make you squirm? I can't imagine what would have happened on the 50 had I not stepped in. But that's kind of our marriage. It's always been like that. James has an idea and he needs a push. So to me, that was our relationship. That was normal. She knew what we prepared for. She knew what the destination was. And she wasn't going to allow that to be deterred. She was just so solid in her resolve. She's the reason we were successful. She saved the 50. If you care about somebody, their goals become your goals. You should do everything you can to help them achieve them. To me, bottom line was, I love James, and that's important to me. Him succeeding is important to me, period. It takes a team of people to achieve something like this. My 50 is the greatest endurance feat in sporting history that very few people know about, and Sonny's role in it is greater than what I did. The things I learned on the 50, they changed who I am, and they taught me a lot about life. I still am working through that. You know, it's been four years and I'm still working through whatever was triggered. That was really hard. But I've definitely not reached my limit. There are things waiting for me out there and I don't even know what they are yet, but I feel like I'll be ready. Thanks so much for watching this week's Story Original. For more inspirational stories each Thursday, don't forget to subscribe right here and click on the notification bell down below.